I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Hi, I'm Alan Weiss. Welcome to Writing on the Wall. This is episode 47, and I call this one the Accelerant Curve. I'd like to present a model to you today that you can use in your business, particularly those of you in any kind of professional services business, that will accelerate your business immediately. And so here's a little six or eight minute tutorial. And as you can see, we spare no expense on visual aids here. I'm using an easel on video in the outdoors. Who cares? So the Accelerant Curve I first learned about, at least the, the basic model, uh, during one of my million dollar clubs, one of our members, uh, Mark Smith, presented it to us and all of us thought it was terrific and since then I've done more work on it to make it relevant for consultants, speakers, facilitators, trainers, people in professional services. I mean, they could be, you could be an architect uh, and this will still work very well. And so here's what we've got. The accelerant curve has two axes, the vertical and the horizontal, and on the vertical I have ease of entry. And so the higher you are in the vertical, the easier it is to do business with you. That means that uh, I can find something free to download that you provide or you might sell a booklet for five or seven or twelve dollars you might have a teleconference for thirty dollars but there's uh, an ease of doing business with you of getting to know what your value is and who you are on the horizontal axis we go from low intimacy to high intimacy and low fee to high fee and so here as ease of entry is easy there's no intimacy anybody can buy a booklet or listen to a teleconference and the fee is low but as you go from left to right, the intimacy increases and the fee increases and the entry becomes more difficult. Now, all of these vertical lines represent different offerings that you have. Coaching, audits, focus groups, uh, OD consulting, teleconferences, workshops, uh, whatever it is that you offer in your line of work, uh, could be uh, 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 house extensions, it could be uh, financial planning, it could be taxes. Whatever you offer, go into these verticals. And you can have as many verticals as you like. Toward the left, they tend to be competitive. Most people offer these things, non-differentiated. Toward the middle, however, they're distinct. Very few people offer them. They're more reliant on you and your value. And over here on the right, they're breakthrough. Only you offer these. So naturally, as intimacy increases, this would be more reliant simply on you. What you want is for people to accelerate down this curve. And so as they begin to use you, and it becomes easier and easier to use you, they move on to your next offering, your next offering, your next offering. You don't want any chasms in here. And what most of you have are chasms. That is, you might have three or four things here and a couple of things here, but people drop off the cliff. So you want to fill the accelerant curve so people can gradually do more and more business with you. In addition, this is accelerated by trust and your brand it also builds trust in your brand. So the more people trust you, or the stronger your brand is, the more they will hurry down this accelerant curve. Now what we found since we created this is the following. There are bounce factors. And somebody can work with you in some fashion that bounces them further down the curve without having to go through each of these verticals. For example, a lot of people read Million Dollar Consulting, which I've written, and they join my mentor program. Some people join my mentor program and bounce right over into my million dollar consulting college. And so you create these bounce factors, if you're conscious of them, and suddenly people are propelled still faster down the accelerant curve. At the end of the accelerant curve here, we have a vault. And I've termed this the vault because only you have the key. So here are things which only you can do. So in here is a retainer. A retainer relationship where the client only wants access to your particular smarts. I have a master mentor program. I have licensing programs. Only I can provide them. They're in my vault. You can do the same thing. If you're successful at this, you get parachute business. And parachute business comes right into the right-hand side of the accelerant curve. And so someone hears about you, your fame is well known, your niche is well known, your brand is well known, and they decide instantly to do business with you on a very intimate high fee basis. Ironically, as you go from left to right, labor intensity decreases. Now how can that be if intimacy increases and fees increase? It decreases because when people are on retainer, for example, that's an intimate relationship. But they might only access you a few times a month and usually it's remotely. So you have this wonderful, sophisticated dynamic of higher fees, more intimacy, 
less business needed because they are higher fees, but also less labor intensity. So try to apply the accelerant curve here to your business. What do you have that creates ease of entry to work with you? How do you propel people down here? Do you have enough offerings that are competitive, distinct, and breakthrough? Do you have bounce factors that prompt them further down the curve? Are you building trust and brands? And do you get parachute business as a result? The accelerant curve, you can set it up yourself, and as you're successful, it, trends, it tends to move from left to right. And so these even become more valuable, and these become so uniquely yours that you'll own the niche. I give that to you with my blessing. Thank you for watching Writing on the Wall. I hope you can use this. If you have any questions, drop me an email. Let's go, Kofax. Come on, Kofax. Get in the car. In the car. Good boy.